the circus is in town. This up next and more on Trend Spotting. Hoffa day everyone, I'm Cami Aguirola and welcome back to another episode of Trend Spotting. Here are the topics that had you talking this week. The Archdiocese says no more holy water from spray bottles. You may have seen the video, a local priest blessing All Souls Day cemetery goers with holy water from a spray bottle. The video showed people dodging the spray of holy water from Father Julius Akinyemi. Some ducked and others expressed surprise at being hit with the torrent of holy water. Father Julius is a priest for Catholic churches, Umatic and Maleso parishes. The video went viral from WhatsApp to Twitter to Facebook. KUAM reached out to the Archdiocese for a comment about the videos and Archbishop Michael Burns responded with the following statement. Father Julius and I have discussed the matter. He meant no disrespect and faced a large area to be blessed with holy water. He'll use the traditional means of sprinkling holy water on future occasions. At Tyler X San on Instagram said, As someone who attended All Souls Day Mass in Humatak this year, I can assure you we had no problem with it. LOL, it was a spray bottle, not a water blaster. At Ken8769 US said, To some, it may not be seen as a big deal and may not take it as a disrespect to others, but I think otherwise. Religion is not something you take as a joke and paying respect to our loved ones who have passed away are in need of prayers from us still living and from the church to continue their souls to find peace is no joke. No disrespect to the priest, but I think the church should have been more prepared to accommodate everyone. At Liz Yu Wong said, I was passing by the cemetery. Lots of people were there. Just imagine doing it the normal way. At least this way is more efficient. In response, at Erica Lauren underscore said, That's what I said. I attend All Souls Day Mass in Marizzo. Even with a bit of overcast at 7 in the morning, it was still hot out there. I think he was thinking about saving his congregation some time in sun. And he lights in our day with a laugh. We put up a poll on Instagram asking if you agreed with this method and here are your results. Up next, an employee letter says Brennan is not fit to run DOC. A letter from the Department of Corrections employees highlighting major concerns they have with Director Samantha Brennan has been obtained by KOAMs. The six-page letter, which is accredited to the core of the Department of Corrections, cites a very hostile environment within our facility. It also says Brennan and former Deputy Director Joy Tulahi began to feud amongst themselves within two weeks of being appointed by Governor Lou Leon Guerrero. The most liked comment with 31 likes on Instagram is from user at Mr.6366. They have major concerns because Director Brennan is not a corrupted director. No more doing illegal now that she is boss. We need more leaders like her. At KDP underscore DJP commented, In law enforcement, high-ranked males find it hard to take orders from a female supervisor, so muscles get flexed. But we gotta get used to it. Times have changed. In another comment, at MG Collins 1970 expressed concern saying, I hope this isn't an indicator of the sexism and racism that DOC staff is exhibiting. Reverse racism exists and sexism is prevalent in a male-dominant profession. To view the letter from DOC employees in full, visit our website website at koem.com. Not only did they set out to break the world record, but they smashed it. The current Guinness World Record of the longest parade of Nissan cars was set two years ago in Texas with 250 participating. Nissan Guam reports 321 Nissan vehicles crossed the finish line. The parade started in Timuning and ended at Paseo in Hagatnya. According to Nissan Guam, their evidence will still be needed to be verified before it's official. The Super American Circus performs this weekend. The circus is scheduled for this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at the UOG Cowboy Fieldhouse in Mangilao. You definitely don't want to miss the thrilling acts which include acrobats, daredevils, an aerial star fire act, juggling, a wheel of danger, and so much more. That's all for this episode. Sidzos Masi for watching and I'll see you next week.